What if I told you that thousands of years before modern industry polluted our lakes and air, ancient miners in North America were already leaving their mark? Welcome to Isle Royal, a rugged island in Lake Superior with secrets buried deep in its lake sediments. I'm David Pompiani. And today we're diving into groundbreaking research led by scientist Kat Vall and her team, including yours truly, that has uncovered evidence of pollution from ancient copper mining dating back thousands of years. But how exactly do we know this? It's all thanks to lake mud. Yep, mud. We extracted sediment cores from two isolated lakes, Lily Lake and Pond 2. These lakes are close to ancient mining areas but crucially, there's no direct water connection to them. Imagine these lake sediments like nature's own history book, preserving detailed records of environmental changes and human activities, like pollution. By carefully analyzing metals such as lead and copper trapped in these layers, our team found an increase in lead pollution beginning as far back as approximately 9,500 years ago in regional records, including Lily Lake. More widespread and pronounced evidence of lead pollution appears around 6,000 years ago in lakes throughout the Michigan Copper District, such as McCargo Cove and Copper Falls Lake. This lead pollution ceased around 5,000 years ago with no further detectable lead pollution until recent historical increases in the last two centuries. Here's where the story gets fascinating. The elevated lead levels didn't come from water runoff. Instead, they traveled through the air as pollution. Yes, airborne contamination thousands of years before factories existed, drifting kilometers across the rugged landscape of Isle Royal. But why lead specifically? Well, ancient miners were after copper embedded in Isle Royal's volcanic rocks. To extract and shape this copper, they heated the ore in fires, a process known as annealing. These hot fires released tiny impurities of lead into the air, drifting downwind and eventually settling into lake sediments, capturing a snapshot of human technological advancement. These results have profound implications. First, they represent one of the earliest documented cases of metal pollution on a significant scale anywhere in the world. Second, they clearly demonstrate that the ancient mining activities around Isle Royal in the broader Michigan Copper District were not isolated, but part of extensive and long-lasting operations capable of impacting environments at a regional scale. This evidence aligns closely with archaeological findings, reinforcing and extending the timelines for mining activities across the region. What makes these findings even more exciting is how they challenge traditional archaeological interpretations. Our data suggests intensive mining activities began thousands of years earlier than previously assumed by archaeologists pushing back our understanding of when and how humans began significantly altering their environment. It also raises important questions about the scale, complexity, and technological capabilities of ancient North American societies. Understanding ancient environmental impacts isn't just about curiosity. It's about learning how humans have always shaped their world sometimes leaving marks that last thousands of years. These sediments are reminding us that our connection to nature and technology stretches back farther than we ever imagined. And if you're intrigued by this incredible story of ancient copper mining, you'll absolutely love my book, Great Water in the Lost Mines of Lake Superior, now available on Amazon and Audible. This novel, based on true events, vividly brings to life the incredible journey of ancient miners weaving together historical evidence and storytelling to reveal a forgotten chapter of human history. By grabbing a copy, you're directly supporting ongoing research like the work featured in today's episode. So don't wait. 
dive deeper into the mystery today. So next time you're enjoying a peaceful day by the lake, take a moment to think about the hidden histories beneath your feet. If you loved uncovering this ancient mystery, please hit that like button, subscribe, or leave me a comment so that I can hear what you think. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, keep exploring.